Hi, and welcome to the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. I'm your host, Tegan Thompson. I'm a book lover, a chocoholic, and an INTJ living in a world filled with extroverts. I made this podcast to share my experiences and struggles as an introverted perfectionist and to bring the inner workings of an introvert's mind to introverts and extroverts alike. So grab a cup of tea and get comfortable. It's time to unmute. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. Uh, This week, we'll be talking about why introverts tend to struggle opening up to new people and some ways you can share deeper parts of yourself with new people as an introvert. Um, So, you know, I just want to first, like, talk about how introverts have many layers to their personality it's kind of like shrek says you know onions have layers ogres have layers <laughs> introverts also have layers um and i think this is so important to think about because you know when an introvert realizes that they want to open up to someone they will very slowly very very slowly peel back the layers of you know those all of those layers of their personality that they have um to people who have gained their trust and it's really important i have talked about this in um previous episode you know that the biggest thing for introverts to be able to open up to people and to be comfortable with them is to have gained that person's trust that they can trust that person fully. They know that person isn't going to take that information and try to hurt them with it or make fun of them or judge them or something like that. Um, and that's really, really important for introverts to be able to kind of build that foundation so that they can build a relationship with the person, um, whether that be a friendship, a um, relationship with coworkers, um, a romantic relationship, whatever type of relationship it could be, um, it, it's really important to have that foundation of trust for the introvert, um, because introverts tend to kind of build up these walls that surround their many layers, right? And the walls, you know, I've always thought of it, you know, the walls are meant to keep people out that you don't want to kind of see all the insides the soft spots that you have but um i think it's also really important to keep in mind that when you build up walls you're also kind of imprisoning yourself you're making yourself kind of cut off from the rest of the world and isolating yourself and you can be really lonely because you're not sharing everything about you you there aren't other people out there who really know you um so it's really important to be able to kind of let people in and be able to share those things um with introverts they often have a lot of acquaintances i have a ton of acquaintances people that i went to school with or i work with and i know them because i see them often but we're not super close right and these acquaintances usually they only see the serious quiet calm and one-dimensional side of the introvert um whereas close friends and family and stuff like that they know more of the wild and silly side of the introvert they know their pet peeves you know they know the things that they love they know the hobbies that they enjoy to do um and they kind of just know those little bits of information that the acquaintances don't know or haven't gotten the opportunity to learn yet. Um, And so, you know, while it may be nice to be cautious of who you share yourself with and um, just making sure that you're opening up to the right people, at the same time, there are, you should open up to people and there are going to be times when you meet someone new and you want to open up to them and as an introvert, it's always like, 
I probably haven't done this in a really long time, to be honest, so I don't know how to do this. And honestly, that's how I feel a lot of the time. I meet someone new and I'm like, oh, I would like to open up to them and I'm just really struggling with it. I don't know how to put my entire self out there in the best way so that they don't like run off because, <laughs> you know, sometimes, um, I guess me personally, I, I, and introverts in general can be intense. They have a lot of, you know, parts to them that, uh, can be difficult to understand and stuff like that. So, you know, it can be difficult to open up to someone. So I just kind of want to talk about a few ways that you can open up to someone new when there is someone you meet, maybe at work or at school or maybe you were just out with friends and you met someone you're interested in um, and ways you can go about kind of opening up to them without kind of feeling like you're sharing too much about yourself. Um, and so the first way you can do it is to just take it step by step. Um, very slow. This usually is the way that I go about it, and I know a lot of other introverts do too. I kind of just start small and simple. You share the little things like favorite color, favorite food, um, and then you kind of gradually share more about yourself over time. You might get into deeper conversations. You might start talking about the activities and hobbies you really like to do, and then slowly move into like where you see yourself in the future and stuff like that and kind of get into those deeper conversations that really show those deeper layers of you um and also when you kind of take it slower like this as an introvert you will um, gradually become more comfortable sharing with this person about yourself um you won't feel as apprehensive or anything because you've kind of started small and you've gradually started building up to those bigger things and so it will feel more natural and more comfortable for you. Um, another way is to not wait for an invita invitation. Um, I know personally for me and then introverts in general, right? we wish people would just ask us the right questions because it would make it a lot easier for us to open up right like oh i wish this person would just like ask me what my career goals are or <laughs> ask me what i think about this situation or whatever so that i have that chance to open up without like making myself feel like i'm sharing too much um you know, it's okay to not wait for someone to ask you about it. Um, it's okay to talk about yourself um, without people kind of prompting it. Um, and, you know, a lot of people usually enjoy when you can share yourself with them without them having to ask because they know that you're more comfortable being vulnerable with them and that you trust them you know it's a, it's really important to remember it's a two-way street in their relationship like yes you're looking for the trust and safety from them but they're also probably looking for that from you as well and so you being able to open up a little bit without them asking you um or having to like nudge it out of you like makes them realize oh maybe like they are interested in be building a deeper connection with me and building a stronger relationship um so that's really important too um something i am definitely still working on because that is something that's really hard for me is like i much rather prefer people to just ask me the questions and then i'll answer them like if you ask me i'll answer them i have no problem with that but me just putting it out there without anyone <laughs> asking the question kind of makes me feel like I'm just like way over sharing about myself and people maybe don't want to know that or they don't care about it and I'm like yeah so that's the reason I don't do it and I know it can be very difficult but just keeping in mind that it it shows that you are interested in that connection and so um, it can actually really help deepen your relationship with that other person um 
a third thing is to use nonverbal methods um, is really important for introverts since introverts kind of often struggle expressing themselves verbally. Um, so being able to show what's important to you through your clothing or your hobbies or uh, maybe art um, or I don't know, maybe you like to give gifts or something like that. I don't know. Anything kind of like that that doesn't really require you talking. Um, it's a really good way to open up. So, you know, um, recently I've gotten into anime and I've really been like loving watching anime and have become slightly obsessed with it. I won't lie about that. <laughs> Um, but I've started buying clothing about it because I love talking about anime, but I don't know how to bring it up. <laughs> so I've um, started buying clothing mostly because I love the clothes and I love the characters and I want to wear them because they're amazing characters. Um, but then also just kind of like being able to have like random conversations like someone sees your shirt and they're like, oh my gosh, you watched that show? And it's like, yeah. Um, and then being able to talk about it. So that's like one of those simple things is like maybe you're really interested in a band um, or I don't know something else um, and so you get clothing that kind of represents that um, or maybe you're really into gardening um, or hiking or something like that and kind of just you know sliding it into a conversation or maybe um even if like you have social media and this person you're friends with on social media like you post a picture of you gardening or hiking or something they're gonna know that's something you're interested in maybe they'll ask you about it or you can bring it up or something like that um but those are good ways to open up about yourself without having to verbalize it um and then the last thing is recognizing that it's okay to be selective with who you open up to. Um, you don't need to open up to everyone. In fact, I wouldn't recommend opening up to everyone because um, as an introvert, that can be really draining of your energy. Um, and when people aren't, you know, someone you see in your life long term, it can feel like a waste of your energy so putting that energy into other people who you do see in your future more long term um, is is a lot more beneficial and more useful of your energy um, and then also you know not everyone is nice so um, kind of taking the time to get to know the other person a little bit and recognize okay are they trustworthy like kind whatever kind of characteristics are appealing to you um, and kind of recognize that in them before opening up it's okay to be selective in that way I think that, that is totally fine the only thing is you don't want to be so selective that you never open up to anyone uh, because like I said earlier it, it, it makes you kind of, you imprison yourself essentially right you become lonely and isolated and you kind of only show this one side of yourself, this very one-dimensional side of yourself that isn't truly you. And that can also be draining because you're not able to fully express yourself the way you would like to because you kind of have to hide those parts of you that you don't want other people to know about. Um, so yes, it's okay to be selective and take time to opening up to people and figuring out if you want to open up to them. But then also recognizing that you should give people chances to get to know you and um, learn about you and understand you. So don't completely cut everyone off um, and like just say, oh, nobody's worth my time, <laughs> you know, but do find the right people for you and be slightly selective in that way and use your energy in the right way, whatever is best for you. Um, and yeah, and I hope that you know you're able to go out there and open up a little bit easier or with a little more confidence now um you know this is something i'm very actively working on i really struggle opening up to people you know 
um, like at work, there are people I have been working with for over a year now, and I still haven't really been able to open up to them, and it's really difficult for me, even though, like, I want to, I want to be able to open up and build those deeper connections with coworkers and become closer friends, um, but it's just something that I really struggle with, and, you know, as introverts, it can take a long time for people to open up. I know, for me, it usually takes a year, if not more, for me to, like, start to reach that level of comfort where I can be open and kind of just be myself with people um and so yeah you know it's it's always something you can work on um you, you don't have to ever perfect it but being aware of what you can work on and then taking steps to try to work on it is really important so yeah um Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode of the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast. If you enjoyed this episode or if you learned anything new, please go share it with a friend. And as always, have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you guys again next week on the Heart of a Perfectionist podcast.